Hey, this is Allie Edwards. In one of my recent Storytelling with Stamps videos, I created a template using a heart from one of the heart scrapbook kit pattern papers. And I was gonna show you how to do that in Photoshop. I'm in the Photoshop 2022 program. I subscribe to Creative Cloud and so it just continually updates for me. Here is that 12 inch by 12 inch pattern paper. And in this, what I ended up doing is I actually did stamping in, in real life. I cut out the 12 by 12 pattern paper and uh, stamped across for a title on here. But what I wanted to do in addition to that was I had, um, I, I copied essentially, I'm gonna show you how I do this, uh, one of these circles and then created a new template in order to add in my photo and journaling. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. I think probably the easiest way because of the way that this pattern paper is set up is just coming over here and grabbing the magic wand tool. With the magic wand tool, you can actually just click to select that heart. And if we zoom in a little bit, Let's see, it's gonna be a little bit wonky. You can see it's kind of pulling up some of the other colors there. So I'm gonna actually hit Command D to deselect that. And we're gonna change the tolerance. The tolerance is the uh, kind of, essentially the amount of color that it's gonna pick up. So I'm gonna put that back down to zero and then I'm gonna come back here with the magic wand tool. I'm gonna to click on there and it's just got a cleaner uh, heart. Isn't picking up any of that speckled, spot, speckled spots in the background. Okay, so I've got that heart selected. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command C, which is just copy, so depending on what kind of computer you're on, I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm also going to create a new canvas. So let's do one that is outside of the page protector size which is seven by eight and a quarter. Let's just create that, this is gonna be bigger than we need. And then I'm gonna paste, Command V, the heart in there. Again, this is where I simply copied, uh, using the magic wand tool, copied that shape, and then it pasted it on here. Now I essentially have a template, right, a, a shape to mask a photo inside of. So I'm gonna come over here, I've got a photo already on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag it onto this heart shape make it a little smaller here. Not the same photo as I used, but I'm just gonna give you an idea of kind of what I did um, for that one. So there's the photo on top. I can come over here into my layers palette. I'm gonna hold down the option key between those two layers um, and then hit the mouse button, which is going to mask that inside of the heart shape there. So you can mask your photo directly into a shape. And then the other part that I did, I actually added journaling inside there. So let's make this heart black. I'm going up to edit fill. I'm going to select black there so I already have it as black in the background and then I can go ahead and bring my text into the heart. And so for that you grab the type tool over along the side, you wait for your computer to catch up uh, with all the things that you are telling it to do. All right, so once I grab the type tool there, you can come over here and create a text box. I'm clicking and dragging to create that text box gonna change the color to white. I'm gonna make a few adjustments here. I'm gonna left or right justify that. I'm going to, let's change this to be a much smaller type size there. And I'm gonna adjust the size up here. Let's do it like nine points. And also adjust the letting, which is the space between the lines of text. We'll make it real small like that. Um, and essentially that's what you can do. And then you can just simply start typing in, let's see, we'll type just a little bit here. This is the story of you, me, and all our, I'm just gonna, all our adventures, I'm just writing in some funny text. So let's say that, and I'll, I'll show you just how I adjust text then when I'm trying to go in a shape like this in Photoshop where it doesn't necessarily mask. I know there's some other ways that you can do it too, but what I would normally do, um, let's see, what did I, what's my first one there? I'm just gonna hit um, tab and that's gonna bring that, here we go. Whoops. There you go. And then usually what I just do is kind of return down some of these and then you can uh, play around with adjusting how you actually want the text to be. You can see where I messed up there. I couldn't see that part before. 
Uh, but you can keep, you know, repeat that. You can play around with what, however it makes sense to fit into the shape that you are doing that inside of. And then you can print and then you have a background. In this case, on this particular project that I'm referencing, uh, which I think is the third or fourth storytelling with stamps uh, project, I also, when I cut it out, cut it out with a border around the outside of the heart there. So just a quick tutorial for those of you guys that were interested in how I did that. And we'll see you guys back here again soon.